Language is different for everyone. We learn language differently. We use language differently. We speak language differently. Sometimes we don't even speak language at all. Cultures influence the language. Language influences the culture. Language is seen and heard everywhere, and language makes us human. Culture has influenced language all over the world. Women in China are seen as inferior. This inferiority prevents women from speaking unless spoken to. Most of the language consists of words that are masculine and show emphasis on the male. The Arabic language has many different words for camels or horses. These animals are vital for people in the Middle East to survive. Their culture is surrounded by camels and horses, thus influence the language that is surrounding them. During the 1960s, the hippie era took over. The culture was surrounded by drugs and the need to spread peace. Terms like right on and bugging out became popular. They were terms that described the effects of drugs or when cool things happened. During times of political turmoil, the man was used to describe political figures. This hippie culture changed the language during this decade and beyond it. I see culture influencing language in my own house here at college. My roommates and I have our own culture that came from our families at home, and we brought that culture into our house now. The cultures have influenced and changed all of our language and word uses. Hi, my name is Ali Salmon. A word that I use with my family at home is clicker. Many people here give me a hard time and make fun of me sometimes when I say clicker instead of remote. But when we all moved into the house, I used clicker when everyone else used remote, and then people around me started to say clicker too. In our house now, we say clicker rather than remote when referring to changing the TV. My culture from my house and family has influenced the language spoken here with my roommates. When I'm not at school, I live at home with my mom, my dad, and my sister. A word that came from my family is nani. It means good night or sleep. Every night when my roommates and I go to bed, we say nani instead of good night. Another word that we use in my family is manja. It's Italian for eat, um, and my family is very Italian, and the culture has influenced our word for eat. At school, my roommates and I say manja, manja when it's time to eat. My roommates were all influenced by the culture at my home and my family. Hi, my name is Holly Kohler. A term that we use with my family is, this too shall pass. We use this term when my family is going through rough times. I brought this saying into the house when we all moved in. When bad things would happen within the house or with our friends, I would always say, this too shall pass. My roommates picked it up, picked up the term and began to use it. Another term my family uses is, only the best for my family. I began to say it in the house when my roommates are appreciative for the things that we have. I think that it's really cool how these sayings came from my family at home and now my roommates and I'll say them. Hi, my name is Katie Convertino. When I am not at school, I live with my mom, dad, and two younger sisters. A word that we used to use in my family is queer when describing something that is weird or different. Coming to college and living with other girls, I have realized that this term is not accepted by some people. This has changed how often I use the word and my awareness of how it affects other people. I have also taken this awareness and brought it back to my family. We changed our language because of the cultural influences I experienced while living in Rochester with my roommates. Hi, I'm Sam April. In college, a word we use a lot is ratchet. It's used to describe things that are gross or trashy. When I would go home, I would call things ratchet and my mom started to catch on. I would find her saying something like, those dishes are so ratchet when there's dirty dishes in the sink. I think it's so funny that my mom caught on to the language that we use in college. The culture here in my house has influenced the culture at my house at home. Culture can have a big impact on language. Culture and language are so influential and important in what it means to be human.